Dean, defeat to Wrexham. How do you sum up how are you feeling right now? Obviously disappointed with the with the defeat. And let's be honest, you know, with too many errors in our game, not enough penetration in our game, um, and we were outclassed. So you know, the opposition get all the credit on, on, on today. What, what do you think we need to work on it in particular get moving forwards now? Because obviously, you know, th three goals conceded is, is must be really quite disappointing. Yeah, look, we've conceded from two, two set pieces. Uh, they come down as individual errors. And we've obviously made an individual error at the back as well. So, But that's football. It's football at every level, you know. Whether it's the Premier League, the Champions League, there's always individual errors. And we were punished for that. We were just outclassed. We got in some good areas, especially in the first 25 minutes, without any penetration to our game. Um, we control possession quite well within that period without any penetration to our game. So we need to have more penetration in our game. And I've said that quite a lot now. And that's really the key errors. And goals change games. You know, uh, we've made an error and it's, uh, it's in the back of our net. But the lad Mullen, who I think is an outstanding player. His movement today was a joy to watch, really. I know he's not on our team. It sounds a bit crazy me saying that, but I thought his movement and everything he did today was outstanding. He's a class act. Minutes for, for Reece Greenish today. What did you make of his performance? He did all right. He come on. Obviously, I'm looking to what when, the, when the, the next goal is key. We spoke at half time about getting the next goal. Uh, it's a dangerous scoreline 2 0 because the next goal is key. And if we get it, we would have been back in the game. That's what that's, we made a sub, obviously, bringing on Adam Marriott to do that. And they got it, to be fair to them, Wrexham. You know, they're very professional performers to play them. And, uh, you know, going back on to Green's performance, what I thought started to think when they got the tour goal, I think it was the 57th minute, was it? In around that kind of time. And I just thought, you know what, they start looking towards uh, Tuesday night away at Stockport, which is another tough test. What positives are we going to be taking from this from moving forwards now? Because we've got two, two uh, big games coming up now. Well, the positives are that's the level you want. If you want to get in the top half of this table, that's the standards. So they've just shown us the standards it takes to get to this level. So that's what we do. We've learned, well, I know the standards personally, but as a group, collectively, as a football club, that's where we have to get there. And I thought uh, they closed us down really well. And, you know, all, all the credit goes to the opposition today. So, and we've got to lick our wounds. We've got to learn quick, really quick. And we've got to move on to the next game because this division's relentless. How, how important is it, is it now that we uh, get the balance right between the rest of recovery and then getting back out onto the training pitch so, so we're ready for Stockport on Tuesday? Yeah, look, it's, um, that's just part of the game now. You know, it's 48 hour a day recovery, sorry, 48 hour recovery now. That's just the way it is. So, um, look, at the end of the day, we've got a good game. We've got to perform better than what we did today. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we were ruthlessly punished by, you know, they've got some top players. You know, realistically, shouldn't be at this level, but they are. Um, they've got some top players now. But what, what I did like about Wrexham today is their walk ethic. They've shown us the standards of walk ethic. I'm not saying theirs wasn't there, it was there. Um, but we were just outclassed, really, with too many errors in our game. We, we didn't let our heads drop and we continued to fight, even being three goals down, which must be pleasing for you to see. Yeah, we've got spirit, we've got togetherness. You know, we mightn't have you know, the class that Wrexham have, but we have a lot of spirit and we've got a lot of togetherness. And that's kind of standards in good stead. Um, you know, when you get beat like this, you just got to look at runs and move on to the next. And that's so important because if we dwell on it and moan about it and cry about it, it lingers around the place like a bad smell and it becomes cancerous. That's the truth. We cannot let this place become cancerous, a uh, football club. Um, like I said, we were beat by a better team. We wish them well, congratulate them, and we move on to the next game. And just finally, what did you make of the fan, our fans today? Yeah, difficult for them, obviously. You know, we're losing 2 0 down at half time. So, very difficult for our supporters today. But they clapped us off again at the end. I think they can see we're trying. We're doing our best. Um, but, yeah, so look, I'm proud of them, uh, the support they give us today. But hopefully, we need to give them more to sing about, really. Uh, more attempts on goal. Um, we need to do better in the final tour. Um, as simple as that. So, that's my job to do that. And hopefully, I think we can do that in, in future games.